Welcome back, guys. We are here today with David, and my name is Jamie. We are going to be playing round two of The Price is Right, and Dave's going to try to guess the price of a home that I have found without seeing anything but the photos. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of a description. I'm going to give him some facts about the house, and then he only gets to swipe through the photos, and that's how he has to guess the price. Um, he did pretty well last time, so we'll see how he does today. Okay. So we have a four bedroom, three bath, 3,900 square foot house. I'm kidding. On a four of an acre. And this is in Riverview, 18227 Country Club Circle, Riverview, Michigan. Go on right by yep. Riverview Highlands, the golf course. Would you like me to read some of the description? It's very long. <laughs> uh, just give me like, if you see like main points of like certain things that have been up. Top notch views of the golf course. <laughs> Um, it's been reimagined and is ready for its new owners. So it has tons of updates. It looks like we're gonna take a picture or take a look at some of the pictures. Um, located on the second green of Riverview Highlands Golf Course, 25 by six covered porch. So we've got. We've so got does some... it have? Um, so I'm gonna ask this again because I think it's important. Uh, city uh, repairs are the buyers assuming or sellers taking care of it? Does it say anything? It does not. So that's important. Like that, to me, like that is like one of the biggest things. Um, Let's talk about it. So every city has their um, their own guidelines in regards to uh, city repairs, and um, some are internal, some are internal external, some are external only. But they make a difference in how we would market the price of your home. Uh, because if your repair list is super long and you don't want to do anything of it uh, with it Then those next buyers are going to have to assume those repairs and that is going to cost money which would then in turn Be a negotiating factor for the buyers to bring down the price of your home because they know that that's something that they have to take care of Some cities are like six months some are a year um, It depends on the city, but it, it's super important I think it's one of the biggest investments you can you can make is order the city inspection. I mean, they're like 150 bucks to 250 bucks. Order them, see how much is on the list, take care of them if you can. If if you, obviously your bank account allows for it, if you can't, take care of at least the small items, so it looks like there's only two or three things that needs to be taken care of from the buyer's perspective because that will. Um, alleviate them trying to take so much money off on the house. So that's that. All right. Great. Maybe she looks like. All right, again, this is 18227 Country Club Circle in Riverview. And again, he only gets to see the photos. $7.99. Yeah, $7.99. So close. Okay, what is it? Okay, it's $7.95 on the dot. Okay. So you're very close. So for our second house, we have a three bedroom, one bath, 1,094 square feet on a 3,900 square foot lot. This is 1417 Washington Avenue in Lincoln Park. Um, let's see. Not a ton of detail, but simply unpack and start enjoying the comforts of your new home. So we can tell this one's probably gonna be a little updated too. Um, nothing about the sea of Okay. One, yeah, 150 to 159. You're so close. We're gonna give that to him because it's 149.9. <laughs> right. right. Yep, so that was a three bedroom, one bath, 149.9 in Lincoln Park. Yeah, so like that to me, like when I asked her location, location in certain cities matter. Um, because when appraisers do certain um, comparables, they have to stick within a certain, if they know the area well enough, like we do, you can't, for example, you can't cross Southfield to compare homes like that, in my opinion, because of the certain location, mm -hmm. right? So you can ha you have to look at comparables close to that because it's north of Southfield, east of Fort Street. You can't compare that to something that's west of, you know, Dick's south of Southfield. Right. You know what I mean? Kind of so, two different yep, areas. two different price points. Yep. 
changes probably like 20 to 30 grand in my opinion. And that's with a lot of cities, it's just uh, larger cities, you know, they have the different crossroads for areas. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Certain pockets, yep, in certain neighborhoods. This is 3151 21st Street in Wyandotte. This is a three bedroom, one bath also, 1033 square foot on a 4300 square foot lot. So a little bit bigger lot than the last house we were talking about, different city. Was um, it actually on 31? Yep, 3151 21st Street. And this is? Location is, uh, is it south of Eureka? Um, it is just north of Eureka. Just, okay. In 21st, yeah. Between Eureka and Oak. And again, unfortunately, nothing about the sea above. Because wind out would be the one of the ones you want to look into. Interior, exterior. And honestly, this is for agents. Please give us the most detailed description you can because as us trying to talk to our buyers, we need to inform them. Like information, 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 and communication, communication, communication. Because, and two, like, as a listing agent, that's a service that you provide to your sellers. Like, that's why we're getting paid a certain amount, right? And we have to do everything possible for our sellers and for our buyers so that they, ha like, at the end of the day, it's the experience of both sellers and buyers. And we as agents have to come together and provide value. Like, that is what's lacking. And that's why certain people have these negative feelings towards real estate agents is because you guys, there's a lot of agents that do the bare minimum and it looks bad on all of us. So be better, do better. And it makes, I mean, it'll make our lives a lot easier and it will make the client experience a lot better just to go the extra step. I mean, soapbox over. <laughs> all right, number three. One ninety nine nine. That's what I'm doing. That's a nice price. It actually is listed lower. Is it? It is. What is it? It's listed at one sixty nine nine. See, that doesn't make sense to me. There must be, I, so that to me, that would mean that there's either something that is on the city report right that if, if there's like cement work or if there's other things that need to be taken care of that they don't and the reason that we're elaborating on a lot of this is that you know clients send us houses and they say oh my god this amazing price you know it's so cheap we can afford it but then you want to know what's going to have to be put into that home so yeah. what dave's talking about is when we know those things up front we can set the expectation that you know, maybe this house, not this specific one, but maybe a house that you're looking at has, you know, 15 grand in repairs just purely on cement work. Yeah. We've had that happen. And our buyers walk away because they can't afford what yep. comes with the house. Yep. And like the reason I said 199 for that house is because I know that a house on the 4-2 block uh, that was south of, it would be south of Eureka, same bungalow, vinyl, decently updated looks like it was well taken care of that sold like four or five months ago at 205 right so like same everything that's where that tells me like maybe maybe there's something under the covers that we don't know about we are going to look at a house in trenton now this is 2321 third street in trenton i loved the exterior of this one this is a beautifully remodeled home in the heart of Trenton. Let's see, tasteful renovation in 2022. Downtown Trenton. No information about the sea above. But we're three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,245 square foot, and just under an 8,000 square foot lot. Okay. 220 to 230. You're directly in the middle. 225 on the dock. Mm, cool. Pretty good. 24183 Kurt Drive in Brownstown Township. Go Brownstown. Mm -hmm. Why did I say it like that? Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so this is a four bedroom, 3.5 bath. So three and a half baths, 2,900 square foot. This is another big one. 
7,800 square foot lot. Where is it? What this. subdivision is it in? And like, where, so where's Flowers it? Creek? Okay. Um, got some updates. I'm not even. Give me cross. Give me crossroads. And nothing. Like I, I think I know where it's at, but I just crossroads help. Okay. Nothing on the C of O's, but this Brown, is. So, so Brown Sound. So townships. Um, townships typically don't have uh, C of O's because it's township. So typically, so, so Brownstown Township, uh, Sumter. Uh, well, Sumter Township, um, yeah, so all Van Buren Township and stuff, they don't have uh, CFOs. Okay, so this is between West and Van Horn, east of Telegraph. Okay. So between 75 and Telegraph. Yeah. Okay. Now she is pending. So we may see a new price, but he's guessing what the list of price was. Oh, she, she <laughs> mm. Mm. 429, 429, 439. That's your range? Yeah. 439. Let's go. <laughs> Good job. Though so I thought that one was gonna be tough because it's a big house, but yeah. it like he said, it could use some updates depending on your taste. Um, but it is a lot of square footage, a fully finished basement on a decent lot. So, so let me ask you a question. How many days was that house on the market? This house has been on the market for eight days. Eight days. It's pending. Yeah, so what I was gonna say there is with the rate, rates have uh, increased over the, I would say like a month or month and a half or whatever. Obviously we know rates have jumped up significantly, but the last couple weeks they've came down a little bit so we actually had a listing in, in Brownstown and it took that dip in rates to get somebody to buy it. So um, the rates have had a huge impact on houses that are 300 plus. Um, so now that we've, yeah, so now that we've seen them dip down a little bit, it's it's a good time to get the puppy on the market. Uh, a perfect example that was listed at the right price, pricing matters, marketing matters. And no description. Yep, description matters. And if you do all of those things and offer out the right compensation to the buyer's agent, um, your house should sell within uh, a couple weeks. Buy the house now. <laughs> so. We mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. All right.